back to my channel. If you're new here, I am a legislative auditor, a financial auditor, so I'm an accountant, a CPA, and I just wrapped up my last really big audit, and I'm about to move to my next audit in a couple days. So I'm in between audits, and I did not plan on filming this. I didn't plan on doing a video for this at all. The topic is pretty on brand with my channel. I figured I'd bring you guys along and show you kind of my organization, my preparation, when I switch audits and the process I go through just to get my life together before going to another client. <laughs> so a little disclaimer because I know I'm gonna get comments. For Gatsby audits for the government, we do such extensive test work that our audits take months. So this last one I was on, I was on for seven months. I've been on it since June. I am so glad to finally be done, but I will be back there in June again, the same client. So it's just really, really big. They're a whole lot of money in the state of Tennessee. Anyway, I just wanted to put that out there because I do only have a couple clients a year, but we do a whole lot of work at each of these clients. So they're just really, really big. I've been an auditor now for over five years. And so I kind of have this routine between audits, but I never really thought about the things that I did until I made this list. So one of the first things I do is organize all of my work files on my work computer. I have a work folder and then inside that work folder of my documents, then I have each client has their own folder and then inside that I have each fiscal year. So each audit that we're doing. So inside the fiscal year I have each category like cash, investments, endowments, capital assets, and then I'll put all the work papers in those. So that's my organization. And I think right now for the most part, my files are organized. They didn't get too crazy on this. I use my downloads folder as like a quick access. If I only need to reference something really quick, but then I don't need to keep it on my hard drive. So I'm gonna go through all my downloads and make sure that they're temporary files. I'll delete them. And then the ones that I wanna keep forever, I'll put in the folders I just told you about. Let's get to organizing. Alright guys, it only took a couple minutes, but I didn't have it too out of whack this go around. Somehow I was super organized, so that's great. <laughs> this is my downloads folder, woo woo. While we're on the computer, I'm also gonna organize my email. I went ahead and started doing this on Thursday, my last day of the audit, just because I wasn't thinking to film a video. So I'll go through my inbox and I have a different folder for each client. And the only things that I leave in my inbox are the emails that I still need to do something for. So I'll leave them flagged. Every email that I don't necessarily need or it's not necessarily for me, I'll put it in a folder of that client. Since I already cleaned this up sort of on Thursday, I only have 13 emails in my whole inbox. <laughs> I had over 200 on Thursday. <laughs> so I did most of that already. I'm checking emails that I got yesterday that I, cause I don't check my email on the weekends and this needs to be done as soon as I get to work on Tuesday. Okay, so we'll flag that. We have our email down to seven emails, so not bad. So done with that. So that's all my digital organization, getting my work life on the computer organized, which I feel like is very important. All right, the next thing I usually do is shred or throw away all of my notepads, notes on this client. But I also have a bunch of notepads. And this is just kind of a running joke with me and all my coworkers is if anyone needs a notepad, they ask me because I have like 15 at all times. <laughs> I can't show you guys the actual notes. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing and blurring out this video. I look forward to that later. Giant notepad. I actually think I might be done with this whole thing. But I'm just gonna tear out all the things that are specific to my client that I just finished because I don't need that anymore. First two pages are notes on Gatsby 87, the new implementation. So I don't really want to throw those away, but they're not specific to my client. So I'm gonna keep that on this notepad. Throw that away. I don't really need that anymore. Giant notepad with only four sheets of paper on it, but we're gonna keep it. I have this like leather portfolio that work gave me. So I just keep the giant notepad in here. One notepad down. Next we have printouts that I don't need anymore. This is not my client. What is this? Oh, oh, I was helping a coworker with some of his stuff. Okay, I was like, I did not work on that audit. So yeah, we're gonna shred all of that. Next I have little notepads. Still need that. Good news. All we have is one sheet of paper on this notepad, which is kind of annoying. What we're gonna do is tape this sheet of notes to this notepad so I don't have an extra notepad for no reason. Okay, so we got rid of an entire notepad. Another notepad. <laughs> this one, I think I just started the other day. Yeah, I only have one sheet on it and I still need it. So we're gonna keep this in my portfolio. And then these post-it notes are where I physically write my timesheet so I know what hours I worked for the day and when I took breaks. So I just keep this handy in here anyway. I have a, a mask that T-Dot gave me in 2020. So have not opened it, do not need it. A note from our previous audit director. Don't need that. 
I have a little pamphlet that I keep with me before recruiting events so I can study the facts of our office that I tell students but sometimes forget. I have a state capitol visitor guide from that random day. I think I did it during a YouTube video when I just walked up to the capitol and took a tour on my lunch break. Parking pass that expires next month. And then I have my shot records, vaccines in here like I'm a freaking canine. And then I have my business cards in here. Next, I'm going to organize my little home office here. I did organize it some before my goals video just because I was filming here. And then I'll give you guys a little home office tour. You can see it all. It's pretty small. I live in a really small apartment, so I don't have a little home office. So I'm gonna go through and tidy it up really quick. This does not make me look so smart. <laughs> entire pen set I had no idea that I had. Women of the Bible. I still haven't read this and I, I want to, okay we're putting it on the coffee table so I'll read it. Y'all is this not the cutest little vacuum for getting your keyboard and stuff? I'm gonna link it down below. Someone gave me this as like a funny gift and it's super practical. You never know and if you need your TI-84 you might end up in Algebra 2 again sometime in another lifetime. This is all my camera equipment. I'm not gonna go through it. Windex wipes, life changing. Quick little home office tour with Konug. I bought these monitors separately. I bought the little dock thing so they can be up all pretty like. Computer phone got that through work through work bought a mouse pad so this is my actual real setup however these cords we're not going to talk about it <laughs> we're just not going to talk about that if you guys remember i got this desk for free a company had mailed it to me to do a little video promo for so i'll have it linked down below fantastic it's glass it rises all the way up you just unlock it here, you raise it up, you can memorize three different heights, but I leave it down. I don't use it as a stand-up desk. It also has a little USB, so I have my phone cord. Yeah, if you're wondering why I have random plants over here, my sister got me these little herb growing things, so basil, mint, cilantro. Cilantro is taking off over there. The rest of them are struggling a little bit. This chair, I also did a video trying to find a chair, so if I can find any of this stuff, I'll have it linked down below. I've got this little flip calendar my coworker bought me. Got that at Target. Got that as a gift, also from Target. My CPA books, no, I'm not giving those away. Me and my sister, me and my best friend, my other friends. These are little things that I made through a phase that I had during quarantine. <laughs> I'm obsessed with these wintergreen mints, so anywhere I'm at, I have a bag of those mints with me. Got this little thing at Target, holds some clips and paper clips. Fun little Rubik's Cube, my business cards, lotion chapstick, office -y stuff, a mirror that I look at before meetings, more office -y stuff. And this is kind of the big paper stuff. I do use this calculator every single day though. <laughs> my blue light glasses and their little flamingo holder. I have random limoncello from Italy. And then a whole photo album from Italy. And then more stuff. And this is my camera equipment. So it just goes underneath here in my wastebasket. And then my filing cabinet of the files that I have to keep. Behind me I have my CPA license, which is worth so much money. My calendar. And then this is my little Seattle photo thing. I just think it's so cute. This guy like hand painted the first Starbucks and he was a street artist and I just bought it from him. Super cool. And then I also bought his Pike's Place Market. So as you can tell, it takes up a big portion of the corner of my living room, but I don't have a lot of square footage to work with. I also have a mat that I was going to use for standing, but I don't ever, ever use my standing desk. So it's just down there. Again, ignore the cords. I do love my home office though. It's got everything I need, it's organized. I try to keep it pretty minimalistic, although it kind of gathers some stuff from time to time. Lastly, before I switch audits, I like to go through my work bag and just get rid of anything I don't need, things I haven't used, but also to throw away the things that just collect in a bag. So throughout this last audit for seven months, I was working equally at home, at my client, and at my office. So three work sites, and this is the only thing that goes to all three. So it's kind of a collection of everything that I absolutely need. I keep an umbrella on the side, but I also have an umbrella in my car. I put my water bottle here when I go to work. We have this fun little poppets that HR sent us. <laughs> I'm gonna link this bag below because I highly recommend it. I've also taken it on several trips that I've gone on, like personal trips. But this back container apartment here, I just put all my pads, you know, 
female probs, but that way they're back here. They're also cushy, so it's extra padding. <laughs> no pun intended. It's got this strap to put on a suitcase if you actually travel. So in the very back, I would put my laptop here, my leather portfolio I showed you guys, and then my planner. So it's empty right now. This middle compartment, we have another notepad. <laughs> It's like my security blanket. Emergency powder, you never know. A spoon, a thing of post-it notes. We're gonna throw this away. Fruit gummies, oh my gosh, they're multiplying. A random drawstring bag that my coworker gave me. And when I go to work, I usually put my wallet in this compartment and then sometimes my lunch snacks, as you guys saw. If I don't feel like bringing a lunch box, I'll just put them in my backpack. This backpack also has the external USB where you can connect a charging block thing and then just have the charging block in here and then you can charge your phone on the go. Never used that feature, but it is cool. This next compartment, hand lotion. This is random little office-y stuff. I have more post-it notes. Bunch of pens, wide out, staples, binder clips, sharpies, tied to go pen. Just some little office -y stuff. More pads and tampons, just in case. Periods are normal, you guys. Pepper spray, hand sanitizer, girly smelly lotion. I do not like scented lotion. I'm like an old man and I stick with my gold bond. So I really just lend that out to others. Cough drops, EpiPen, allergies, gotta love them. Keeps life interesting. And then I have my pill bottle and this is just all of random over the counter stuff that I may possibly need. We're gonna find a lot of these bobby pins. Then I have my work badge with my client's badge on it. I have three controller pins. We wear it on our left lapel, our little controller pins. So I've got three. Some of my favorite pins that I actually use on the day to day and these stay in my backpack. I do not leave these at work. They stay here. Yellow highlighter, blue pin, black pin, and a Sharpie. And then some wired headphones in case I forget my AirPods because I cannot work without music. This very front compartment is where things really get hairy. My parking garage pass. Okay, it looks like I've cleaned this out recently. Thank goodness, because this would be embarrassing. A lot of bobby pins. I usually go to work with my hair like this and bobby pins, and then I come home with it braided because I can't stand having my hair down. So all of my bobby pins get left at work. Eye drops because of LASIK eye surgery. I feel like I probably need to explain why I have a random dog in my bag. <laughs> Me and my coworker on lunch where they walked to go geocaching, and this is one of the geocaches we found. And I have it with me in case I go geocaching again, I can put it back in there. That compartment was not as embarrassing as I thought it was gonna be. I also have a secret compartment on the side that I don't have anything in. So yeah, that's my work bag that I bring to work every day. I also have a rolly bag that I have my laptop, my extra monitors, some cords, things like that that I have, but it's actually at my audit client right now. And that was the next part of this video, segue into it. The last thing I would organize is taking all of my stuff from the audit site back home before I go to my next audit site. I didn't have a chance to do that this week, so all my stuff is still at my client, so I'll get it next week. But I have like a bag of snacks, my rolly bag with my laptop and stuff, so I'll bring it. I don't think I moved too much stuff this audit cycle. That's not gonna be in this video, but that is something I'll be doing next week when I can get back there to take all my stuff back home. So I hope this video was fun. It was very last minute, but I feel so much better. Starting on Tuesday, I'll be at my next audit, and this is actually a travel audit. So I'll probably be doing some travel vlogs coming up this spring, so look forward to that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Comment down below if you guys do anything weird or funky when you switch clients, or if you do get to switch clients. I know a lot of people, they're only on a client for a couple weeks at a time. Hours are literally months. So it's kind of a big deal to switch clients. But anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed this super last minute spontaneous video and I will catch you guys next time. <laughs> Bye friends.